All right, let's go see what this business here All right. is. Hey, Commander, we need to talk. Dreams, you get them. Uh, this is a Grey yes. Warden thing, huh? Oh, right, Why you're didn't a dwarf. Anyone tell me? You don't. You're not used to dreaming. Can't imagine he has anything interesting to say. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared brood mothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Oh. Bronco was there and whispered, "It's time." And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her. Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Huh. Well, I do get other dreams about darkspawn, mostly shadows and murmuring, <laughs> but nowhere scary. <laughs> Thanks Fair for listening, enough. Commander. <laughs> That's certainly creepy. Oh, special snowflake that Ogrin is. Oh. I owe you an apology. When I returned from the free marches, I was certain my family was destroyed for being on the wrong side of the war. Nope. But my father did it to himself. He really did. No conspiracies. Just one stupid, selfish man. I should have known better. I should have dug deeper before I acted. I was an idiot, and like a child, I blamed you and the wardens. And here you've even proven to be a friend of sorts. Or am I reading that wrong, too? Good. You know, when you conscripted me, I would not have thought I'd end up liking it. <laughs> anyway, let's be on our way. I don't want to take up more of your time. Oh. Hey. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. You misunderstand. We are wrong about this world, there is beauty here, and the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. Indeed not. The fact that you exist at all, however, is a revelation. I wonder, may I make a request? Oh, yeah, There is yeah, something sure. in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear. But it summons an ache I didn't know I had. Thank you. That is most kind. Something made of lyrium? This is a chest of belongings once owned by the man whose body I now inhabit. His essence lingers upon these objects like dust. I can even hear it whispering his name into the ether. In the Fade, nothing outlives the spirit that created it. Here, everything does. This world has fingerprints on top of fingerprints. Witness to beings long dead. How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. 
The man who owned these things was a great warden like yourself, yes? We intend to avenge him? Yes. Good. <laughs> these darkspawn are a cancer within the heart of this world. Agreed. But there is nothing that can be done just yet, is there? A world so full of beauty that beauty goes overlooked. I must see it with different eyes. Interesting. How are you and your cask doing? What? Need something pummeled? Just say the as word. As charming as ever. Alright, I'm gonna mess with my inventory before I deal with them. Alright. Now that I think I've done as much with that as I can for now. All rise! The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain uh -oh. matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Lady Liza Pacton demanded this audience quite loudly. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the sheep herder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My fam... my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a serious matter. Danella, a soldier of the Vigil, abandoned her post and was caught three leagues away. She is charged with desertion. Even if it were not a time of war, the penalty would be death. I asked the old captain several times to release me from my oath. The Darkspawn are too near my family's farm. They need me, my lord. I'm no coward. You dishonor everyone who serves the Vigil. You think you are alone in having family under threat. The men are afire over this one. Danella is an accomplished scout, but desertion could destroy the army. I... I won't forget this, Commander. I'll be back. You have my word. Mercy is a fine thing, but armies are held together by discipline. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? to get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. Oh, um... My father built that bridge, but very well, I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. This session of the Arling's court is over. I guess and it's a maker, good... help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I have some ability to sweet talk. I'm here to serve, Commander. Um, Very well, Commander. Nothing new there. Commander. Commander. 
there any new news? The soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Master Wade has been at the forge night and day. New arms will make our soldiers much more... The Darkspawn are attacking some of the... The common folk are getting scared, Commander. Good day, Commander. Nothing new there. Alright. Yes. 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 See if I can do something with some of these gifts. Um, poetry inspired by the fade. You have my sincere thanks. What if you found a living body to possess? Even if I knew how, I would not possess the living. Such is an act for demons. What if the person were willing? Why would a mortal ever allow such a thing? For life. For love. Perhaps together you could do what they cannot do alone. If you gave instead of taking, I would consider you no demon. It is something to consider. Thank you, Nathaniel. You should talk to Wynn. I don't know if it would actually yield anything. But Wynn has personal experience with benevolent fade spirits. Make her bless you, Commander. I'll be the best soldier you ever had. Okay. When the city runs out of supplies, we are all doomed. Make a watch over you, as they say. Bugs out in the forest are as big as your head. We never thought we'd get rid of those smuggler rats. Thank you, Warden Commander. Wow, that's expensive. Oh, but it's nice. I can afford 
afford that? <laughs> For now, I'm sure something else will want to cost an arm and a leg. Or all the nice things apparently want to cost an arm and a leg. A few extra bits while they're at it. You're back! Have you any news? Oh. I still have a thing to do for you. Seeing if I can shortcut any of them. It is so good to see you, Wits. Oh! Mathrath. Went in woods. I still have business there that needs to be done. But I've already taken Oh, Commander. Uh, How do the Templars oh. always find you, Anders? Incredibly angry. That's how they find me. There must be some trick to it, surely. They began recruiting women. The male Templars never stopped to ask for direction. <laughs> You're impossible to talk to. I do my best. Oh. Now you're making me think of Stan. Stan. What's in here? Is she in here? I already... Of course. What? <laughs> sure. So I shall. Bottle of the inn's best brandy? Okay, I guess I actually have to... Dear Birch Moonshine, Sermons of Justinia, a second, and a bottle of the inn's finest brandy. Okay. Ah, Christoph, you're back. Will you be keeping your room? Oh. I have no need for it, mortal. And your belongings? Will you be... Dispose of them as you wish. Oh. What can I get for you, friend? Oh, Christoph, it's good to see you back. Did you catch those darkspawn? Ah, uh, I believe it is better to say that they caught him. Very what true. Him who? It is of no matter, good woman. Thank you for your kindness. It was appreciated. Okay, I haven't gone to the chantry yet. A 
as you desire. I see that your feline companion remains with you. He seems happy enough. Isn't that right, Sir Pouncelot? To enslave another creature does not seem just. He's not a slave. He's a friend. And he's also a cat. A cat that lacks freedom. Oh, just ignore him, Sir Pouncelot. They don't have pets in the Fade, apparently. Poor kitty. As you desire. Curious. This oh. man I inhabit once worshipped this woman. Her and the one they call the Maker. Do you believe in this Maker as he did? I know he exists, maybe, but following... Uh... I'm Dalish. I. In the Fade, some spirits believe a creator gave us life and separated us from this world. But do they believe that only because they see the Maker in the dreams of mortals? So much of the Fade is created by spirits desperate to emulate your kind. Many do not care. Demons live in the moment, but those of us who seek something greater, we wonder. Here, you can be certain that what is has always been. Is that not comforting? Events occur, but they occur within context. You take the structure of your world for granted. Faith Fair requires enough. structure and belief. In the Fade, we have neither. I see why the demons are so eager to pass through the veil. It is something to consider. Interesting. Okay. And the maker wept for his beloved and turned once again. To yada yada. <laughs> I will pray for you, Commander. <gasps> There's that. There we are. Aura, please do not be alarmed. I do not wish to frighten you. You? You are the... in my husband's body. I am a spirit of justice. I meant your husband no harm. I would ease your distress had I the power. I knew when he left that this could happen. He told me. His father died a Grey Warden too. Tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Tell me and I will do it. Avenge him, spirit. I will wait for his ashes a little longer, if it means that whoever did this to him will pay. The Darkspawn. Yes, I understand. And she is gone. Did I do the right thing? I think so. Oh, that's even an option. She loved this man a great deal, and he loved her. I envy what they had. Careful. I must think on this more. But another time, thank you for bringing me here. Yay! Okay. Well. I have a book for orchids, now I gotta go back to, All right. I guess, the front section of the city. To find that moonshine.
guess I'm not gonna get an arrow. I'm just gonna have to go down there and peek at this. Well, that's what her dead body was. So. No! Okay. But where the hell is it? Where the hell is Hubert? Wait a minute. Hubert's dead. Four. There we go. Hey! You can't just barge in here. Oh. I believe I have. Okay. Teach this I really want to fight me. Likely unskilled. They disapprove of what? Weird. Okay. Possibly the book? I don't think so, though. I mean, if they had an issue with the book, they probably would have brought it up sooner. That being said, I think that's enough random bits for now. And I'll check in on probably the Wending Wood next time.